Hello, hello all you lucky ones. Welcome to this video tutorial on WordPress and how to use it as a content management system, otherwise known as CMS, for your website. This tutorial will be specifically looking at how to write and manage your very first page. Okay, first thing to do in WordPress is get to the login screen. To get to the login screen, you must type in your domain forward slash wp dash login l o g i n for example x y z dot com forward slash w p dash login okay once at that screen simply type in your details which you'll be given and you'll appear at the once it loads the dashboard screen which we can see here okay first thing first is the navigational bar this is the main navigational bar where all your navigating will be done from obviously the first two you'll use the most, write and manage. Write is where you obviously write your first post or page in this case. Once you've written the page, you then go over to manage to edit and manage. Pretty straightforward, I know. But just to make sure, I thought I'd say it. Okay, so to write a very first page, click on write. Okay, the default in the sub nav bar, as you can see here, will revert to post. However, we will not be using post for this tutorial because this tutorial is aimed at those of us who are using WordPress for a website other than a blog. So ignore post. When you go to write, make sure you click on page. If, if you do all this in post, it will not work. You have to go on page. So write and then page. Okay. When you get to the screen, you'll notice you've got a few little separate windows here. All this under advanced options we will not be covering because this is just for beginners. It's pretty straightforward. We'll be covering title and page and the published status over here. Okay, title, straightforward. My title. Place in there. Okay, now we have our title. That's it. That's all you have to do. As you can see here, underneath, it's got the actual link. You can edit that. So you could go directly to this page once it is published be johnpaulgrant.com slash dev slash my title in this case because I put title here but you can change the link or the URL and the title so they're different if you like by pressing this edit button okay moving on this next window is the is the content window basically where you put your body of your entire website so we're just going to put content goes here this is where you can format so I can change the colour here, make it a nice pretty blue. I can put it in the middle, put it on the right. I can indent it if I like. But the most important thing here for non-technical users is this one right here, Paste from Word. Basically what that does is you can type your entire website in Microsoft Word and copy that and simply hit that button paste from word it will paste the entire content in as well as bring the format in which is the entire point of that process so it will bring all your all your formatting in so that you can use word to format your website basically it makes it a lot easier for people who are familiar with that software and don't know how to use wordpress so that's probably the best way to go for most um, the the last thing really there's not much else to say. Most is pretty self-explanatory. If you hover over any of the buttons, it will tell you what it does. You can show and hide those ones. You got spell check here. All pretty straightforward. But the one I did want to talk about is the links. These two buttons here. These are the link buttons. But as you can see at the moment, they're faded. That is because no text is highlighted. These two buttons only work when text is highlighted. For example, if I wanted content goes here to be highlighted, sorry, to be a link, I would highlight it and then simply click on the one on the left. The one on the left is to add a link, the one on the right is to get rid of a link. So let's click on the one on the left, bring up a little window in which we type the URL. So this could be internal or external. In this case, we'll use an external one for J squared web solutions. My company, web design, check it out and then you can choose the same window or new window in this case we'll just do new window 
You've got the title, which is excellent for SEO purposes, but we're not going to get into that, to that today. And yes, we'll ignore class, because that's for more advanced users. And we'll hit insert, and there we go. Very first link, if we publish this site now, and click on that, it'll take us to J Squared Web Solutions. Okay, and the final thing really, that's straightforward, we're almost done, is to, you can simply preview this page, so we know what it'll look like. Voila. That's what our brilliant page would look like. My title and content goes here. And back to WordPress. And then we've got public, unpublished. That's the status at the moment. It's unpublished. We can keep it as a private page so no one can see it unless they type in a little password. We can edit the time in which it would be published. For example, next Tuesday at 11.27. Um, and then you've got save and publish. Just clicking the save button will save it as a draft. It will not be on the front end of your website. So you can click that, come back to it later without the worry of it being on your website. So click save, it's a draft. To click publish, obviously, goes on the website. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that for today. Any questions? Please contact us at info at jsws.com.au. Thank you, hope this helped.